Hello everybody and welcome back to Warptorial. Let's not waste any time today and get straight to building. We did build quite a few That's not the full blueprint I was hoping to get. We did build quite a few train stations in the last episode and... Well, we're now gonna build the last ones. Well, at least hopefully the last ones. Copy over this one again. So if I place one down here, there's one that needs to go over here like this. This is a 13 belt. Okay, I'll make this a 12 belt, so I just need three three stations. So this one is over there. Those bots were quick. I'll place this off center, most likely, and I want to bring it a bit down. Mm. I might do a five to four splitter for the for the top train station over here because I just realized that this is an eight as well, so it's a full. It's gonna be a full one. Um. So this one needs an exit, this one needs an entrance. Let's, let's put it like this. So this is an exit, this one is an entrance. Let's see. I'll take the lights out. Don't need that bit. And okay, so this one goes this way. The segment here have chain lights over here. Let's see how this scales. I am actually quite curious if we're gonna have bottlenecks over there or not. If there's gonna be bottlenecks, I'll just make a T junction uh, here and I could sleep the, the train station below. But for now, this will do just fine. Uh, let's get the train station copied over. Very quickly running out of belts. Uh, I do have a few more in my inventory. My port. 
so if that's number one this is gonna be number two I'm out of blue belt again and I'm out of blue inserters anything else and chests okay and let's make this number three I do need one additional Uh, one additional train station over here. And I th think I will do the input from the other side because I would need to squeeze in five belts. And that's just not gonna happen. Let's copy like this. Yep, this looks correct. Just double check, this is a 12, 12, 13, but yeah. And I was going to flip this one. Like this over here, let's get, oh wow, there's even less space this side. I need a 5 to 4. Um, yeah, a bit of space limitation over here, so I'll just... Um, I'll just do it like this. L3... L3, that's good. Don't need that that one. So I'll get five belts over here. I think something like this. Yeah, that is facing the correct way. Um, I have one extra belt, unfortunately. Okay, that's actually... Very good. Everything fits just fine. Uh, that's one belt. And now here we should have seven belts, uh, eight belts. So, that's one, and let me make sure I have a seven more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is gonna be sort of the guide belt, and everything else will be centered around it. Do I need to use undergrounds here? Yes, I do.
Awesome. Now I just need belts, both types of inserters and chests. Oh yeah, that's good. Um, when the image was moving, the inserter seemed a bit out of place, but uh, yeah, they're, they're in a good position. Still have this. I have cargo wagons. How many do I have? This is 50, 100. Hundred and a bit divided by four that's twenty. Twenty trains. Twenty-five, twenty-six trains. Uh, and I need eight plus twelve. Twenty. That's good. That's good. That's well. Way more locomotives than I'll uh, need, which is a good thing. But as I was saying, I need first of all chests. That's probably too much, but I'll take them all. Inserters. Let's see. I think I took everything that I need. I was saying for oil I will just go to a place where I have very high concentration like that one stands out uh, that one's a bit low this one's quite big uh, this is a very dense area as well I'll probably just take this area that's 7,000 combined that's way more than um than i'll use and um water i am going i am planning on delivering through through here oil is gonna be at the top side of the of the factory floor Let's get power going. And this time I'll try to be substantially more careful when it comes to... Train station placement. Um, or train station allocation for trains. Uh, this one, this one doesn't have everything connected, so... Oh, I am That's not right. This is much better. So, let's go ahead and get everything centered here and figure out how I want to connect these ones so I could definitely get way more out of this patch I think the reason why I didn't is because I already had everything I needed. One at the bottom, this one is gonna go all the way to the top here. I'm getting these ones out first to see how many I need to get from the other side. I need to go that low, but um, let's 
gonna be a nice alignment with the um, with that belt and last but not least this one over here it's a good thing i guess that oh no i am still missing a few blue inserters now i don't know if i had enough time to make all the belts that i need this one would definitely I am extremely impressed on how fast this is producing belts. I guess it is working at 500% uh, efficiency and speed boost. I didn't really um, have time to read the speed boost, but it was fairly substantial as well, I would assume. Anyway, almost there. Does this one have power? Yes, it does. Oh yeah, there's a... Um... Really? I forgot to... update this one. One goes there. Okay, corner is done. Oh, that's interesting. I have to admit I did not see this one coming. I almost entirely run out of power poles. I have just three left. All belts working here. Uh, something's off here. That is off. Uh, do I have that problem over here as well? Yes, I do. Now the obvious question is, do I have that problem anywhere else? Stone is fully saturated. Coal should be fully saturated as well. Iron should get fully saturated. Still quite a bit to smelt. Um, just want to double check if I have any sort of Throughput issues over here. Now all chests seem to be filling up. Now there is going to be imbalance over here if I'm on copper. I need to go up. Get back to my home base. If trains go out without properly emptying, that is going to be, well, problematic. And I do think I've set this to 6k, maybe I'll try... Maybe I'll try just 4k for now and monitor. I kind of don't like having trains going out... Uh, empty they're going out with uh, still with cargo in um now one thing i do not know about train mechanics and if anybody knows please um leave me a comment on this will these trains actually get the ones that have full cargo um and are with destination full message 
Will they actually get into a queue and all of them be round robbing prioritized or is it always the one with the shortest path that's going to be prioritized? Because that would mean that this patch will be drained substantially faster than the rest of the patches, which is kind of not what I would want. Um, is this copper? Yes, this is copper. So let's go ahead and uh, build this. That's one. This is two. Let's let's get that one built. So I need eight train state uh, trains. That's eight. I hope. No, that is actually nine. Um, where are my trains? My trains are over here. This is the correct station this time. So there's at least that. I'll start over from this side. That. And you should be ready to go now. They're all set to L2, they're all set to copper. Now, you are not going to be L2, you're going to be L3, full cargo. So that's 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, um, that's one way of getting rid of the cart. Not my preferred way, but um, hey, if it works. Cool. Making sure that this is all L3. Yes, let's get the trains rolling. Hopefully no blunders here. I want to see a train. Okay, this one stopped to give priority. This one slowed down as well. I'm guessing this will fill up quite fast as they were already kind of able to supply. I don't see any trains blocked right now, which is a good sign. A delivery is full everywhere, which is really awesome. And with that, I think we have finished I think we can say we finished setting up trains and with that I will actually try to I'll clean up my inventory. 
I don't want to be uh, hanging on to all of these excess items which I will not be using anymore well I might hang on to a few cargo wagons or just put them on the train tracks for the, bots to, for the trains to demolish sure I can hold on to I can hold on to one stack of spare items I guess just on the RoboPort, on the Strider obviously just in case I need to fix something and uh, I'm in a very remote area but I do want to get rid of all the chests well maybe not all, I'll keep a couple of stacks of chests I want to see if I have any excess item set. I yeah, I definitely do not want to have that many radars on me. Uh, do I have some radars in here? Yes, I do. So I am missing inserters. I am missing these ones. We're not in. war mode anymore so I can get rid of all of those everything else I think looks reasonable so let's enable logistics again and get um, get this balanced out really? Oh, they're still set at 400. Maybe a hundred with a hundred and fifty. I, th I think that this is reasonable. This is looking promising. Let's see how the base is doing. This is still working hard. How is... How many do I have? That's 400 chips. That's a reasonably high amount, I would say. Uh, bots are doing well. I will need to give them a surplus once, um, once we actually everything off uh, we have plenty of blue chips now what I'm gonna do for blue chips is I'm actually gonna get a requester chest I'll put it over here a request from buffer and I will request now I'm gonna be eyeballing it I think I made a bit of calculation in one of the past episodes. Now, I do need 9,300 for burning and 3,500 for mining. I probably have placed down about 5.5k. So I still need about 4k plus another 3.5. That's 8k speed modules. Uh, the stack is 50 per chest and at 50 per chest I do not have enough room in here so I'll put 2000 I said I need 8k or about 8k so let's let these ones stack blue chips as well um 
I think it would be an equal or equal ish distribution with uh, the. <coughs> Excuse me, with about this chest, with this chest over here, so I don't think we'll hinder the production of Warped Oreo modules. 400, for Warped Oreo models, modules, I only need 3.5k, this is 400, and I probably have another, I would say maybe 400 distributed around here, so this is still gonna be needed for a while. I want to start cleaning, up, clearing up the, the factory floor in preparation for um, well, actually, cleaning up the factory floor should be um, my uh, second task. My first task is to, well, two tasks, depend how you count them, is going to be to build the mining for uh, harvester and... Um, Boiler. Now, stone is already fully saturated. I'm thinking what's the best way to get rid of these chests. Let's see what happens if I do this. I don't want to do it with my bots. Yeah, I kind of assume that they will try to squeeze everything in here. And they are going to complain that there's not enough space fairly soon. So instead of storage, I'll make these passive providers once they're full. And well, I did turn off Okay, this is actually looking quite promising, except for the steel. The steel is terrifying. The fact that I still have 101k steel in uh, stored in chests, that is just terrifying. Anyway, uh, let's... Um, that's really annoying. Now, I do not see... Oh, there's still a couple of miners that are still... S really? Um... Actually, let's go with trash. Because this will um this will kick off um ev even distribution between all of the um, all of the um, copper smelters. So let's say that I am going to blacklist red chests. And if I blacklist red chests, which are, as far as I can tell, the only ones that are storing 
Uh, steel. I'm gonna try this on a small section. Let's... Give these bots a bit of... Oh, uh, I guess... No, actually, no. Copper is being slowly drained, so that's good. That's, I think that works. I think that works. Let's go ahead and... Start cleaning things up. I will well, eventually pick up things I don't want, like bots, because some of I am picking up the robo. Actually, let's avoid the robo ports. I think that's a that would be a very smart thing to do. I still don't know what to do with all the steel that I have here. It is going to be quite a few chests. Uh, not much junk being picked up, which is very promising. Come on, stop going in between floors, please. This is all the steel picked up. And let's pick up everything else as well. How many chests of steel? The answer is too many. The answer is way too many. So, go ahead and place a few of those. And the top side, as far as I can tell, is safe to, safe to grab. Really? Um, go ahead and get rid of... I need to get rid of quite a few things. The bots will slowly work their, their way there. I did not cap these chests, but I think I'll be able to do some distribution around there by the looks of it. Now, with this inventory though... gonna be a very challenging task okay I can grab quite a few chests at a time luckily this hasn't started Oh, no, 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 no. That was so bad. That was so bad. Run out of here, run out of here before they fill up my inventory again. Oh, 
Okay, some of these chests were not really full, which is really nice. And I will... Um... Okay, this is... This is working rather well, I would say. Way faster than I expected it to work. So... We should be done in just a couple of minutes. And that's the problem with having buffers. Whenever you have to relocate something... Well... You're gonna have to move a lot of resources. And I probably could have set up like a huge buffer area on this factory floor and just wait for everything to be to be moved over, but I will use most of the most of the factory floor for building, so I wanted a quick solution. Is this full, that's full. And fortunately we still have this side which was which is still new. It does, it's not fully off fully stacked, fully saturated and I am I'm going to take advantage, advantage of this on the boiler floor we won't have any of these issues as really? just the last one? Fortunately, I still have bots on me. Now, that might be a problem for... for fuel production. Because I have now disrupted the... iron... F I'm... Or I might have, I, I'm not sure if it's fully disrupted, I don't remember if I set it with, uh, with... Why would I do that? Uh, I'm not sure if I've set it with chests or with um, a belt. I might have done it with... With chests though. Which might prove problematic, but... Um, Let's sort out the... Uh, the stone bricks. That's a lot of belt, but I'm fairly sure that I'll need it at some point. And moving this thing... Moving these things from one side of the factory to the other side is not going to be all that helpful, unfortunately. I should have just put provider chests over there. Like I'm doing now. And, well, wait for... Wait for everything to disappear. But I think that that is enough cleanup. We have a well, we do have a fully clean floor here. Um, these areas, which are going to be the ones that we're going to be using for 
smelting are free as well. So this is perfectly fine. We have a bit of um, an iron buffer built over here, so I don't think that's going to be a problem anytime soon. 2.6k uranium is borderline running low, I would say. We might need to refill uh, these chests, but we can use we cannot use any uh, any platform to do that. We can even use the mining platforms for that. And that being said, I think this is a good place to make a um, break in this episode um, in the next one we're going to be looking at finalizing our uh, steel setup this floor and this not this floor this floor and the boiler floor are going to be full um, full steel smelting if i remember correctly so that being said Thank you all very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this episode and I will see you here next time.